Quinn Ewers has informed OSU he is transferring. Sports director Jared Smalley is here with the reasons why this is happening. What have you learned? Well, Quinn Ewers might be the most hyped high school recruit we've seen in decades. The can't miss talent. And if he does become a hit, that's going to happen somewhere else. Tonight, Ohio State confirming Ewers will enter the transfer portal. And the reasons are multiple here. First of all, C.J. Stroud coming off a remarkable redshirt freshman season, going to be back at Ohio State next season. The backup and fellow five-star freshman Kyle McCord started a game for O. He originally committed to Texas back in his days at South Lake Carroll in Texas before he eventually signed with Ohio State. And there's a good chance he's going to end up back in the state of Texas, either at UT or at Texas A&M, perhaps somewhere else. Our Buckeye analyst, Coach Bill Conley, says tonight it is a sign of the changing times. College football is not an amateur sport anymore. Forget it. It's more like pro football every day. And all these new regulations with the NIL and the portals, it's making it that way. And, and let's face it, you know, in my opinion, yours should have stayed in high school his senior year. It, you know, he'd been a year more mature. He could really analyze the situation. But right now, you don't know who's in these kids' ears. It's a good point coach makes there. Obviously, the, the legislation changes in the NCAA with the uh, name, image, and likeness, and also one-time transfer means you transfer without penalty. The first time you transfer, no sitting out the next year. That's a big reason why this happens. Coming up ahead in sports, we're going to dive more into the decision, how it affects Ohio State from a depth chart standpoint. Remember, they think these things through two, three years in advance, and now there's a little work to do.